Hey YouTubers, it's me, Monkey Chicken here, but all your green comments out there. Well, anyways, guys, in this video, as you probably guessed from the title, is going to include lag compensation, me explaining how it works, you getting shot, and how, you know, some people have better connection than others. But first, I'm going to begin with, you know, how you basically get shot around a wall. I'm going to begin with that. And let me first try to explain it in a slightly visual way. And if you are some smarty pants and you know exactly how it works and the codes and all that stuff and you want to show me up, dude. I'm just trying to give a small visual to other people who may not know how this works and maybe help them. So, you know, shut it. <laughs> okay, so with that being said, let me try to explain it in the simplest way that I possibly could. So, here you are. This is where you are, okay? And everything that you do, whether it be turn, move, throw a grenade, shoot a gun, or anything else that you do in-game, even not moving, is being sent to the host. This is the host up here. And then him... Hit all that data is being sent out from there. So everything you do is sent to him and then spreads out to everyone else. So that's the way it works. And it's also everything they do gets sent to him and go out to there. The way the old cons used to work is the host had the best connection because it wasn't, you know, here to here to this guy and that kind of stuff. It was him, then you guys. That was it. Best connection. That's the way it was before. But then they used lag compensation to make it to where everyone was kind of on an even playing field. And I'll get into that at the end of the video. But this is the basic way that I could work to explain why you get shot around walls and maybe why camping isn't good anymore and all that kind of stuff. So the best way I can say it is this way. When you're playing a game, you are at a different place than where everyone else sees you in this sense. Let's say that, um, let's say walking. Okay, you're over here. This is where you see when you're playing your game. But since your information is being sent out to the host and then down to everyone else, everyone else is seeing you right here. You get it? So you you where you are and where everyone else sees you is at two different places so to kind of shorten the gap or trying to change it so that it's not a kind of an unfair advantage they change the hitbox and the hitbox if you don't know what it is is the places where you get shot around your hand and everything else you know your arms your shoulders all that stuff there's a box around you where they whatever you turn it's a three-dimensional box where if the bullets land within that box you die but with line compensation in the two different points what they did is they extended the box out and let me try to explain it in this way, when you're rounding a wall, here you are, and I'll put up a visual. Well, here you are, you're already around the wall. This is where you, you see yourself. This is where you are at in your own perceived perception. But where everyone else sees you is here, out in the open, not behind the wall because of land compensation, because your information is still being sent. So to kind of make it easier for everyone else to shoot you because, you know, without that land compensation, you'd be boom, you'd be on the wall and no one would be able to shoot you. That's the way it used to work. So to kind of give everyone a quote unquote even playing field, depending on their connection, where they see you, all that kind of, all that kind of stuff. So what they did is they increased the hitbox so that where you are, it is increasing your hitbox out that far. So they still have that kind of range to shoot you because that's where you are. You get what I'm saying? It's trying to keep up to where you are. But since you are lagging and you're moving and their connection to you is also changing, behind you is also an extended hitbox because they still need to hit you because of their connection is slow to you. So the hitbox is actually quite wide. So that's why you see yourself, why was I, I was around that wall, why did I get shot as if I was standing out in the open by that wall? I was behind it. That's why. Because the lag compensation and the way they're changing the hitboxes, because your difference between where they see you and where you see yourself is completely different. So let me explain it this way. Why people die or campers die in Black Ops 2 very easily is because of this. I'll just show you an example of me. I am here. This is where I see myself. I'm camping, let's say, behind a desk. I am camping right here. I'm not moving. This is where I see myself. This is where everyone else sees myself. This is where the game sees myself. So I'm not moving. So everyone else can get an easy shot at me because there's no difference in that kind of stuff. So it, the way everyone kind of kills you, so whenever you're camping and someone jumps around the corner and shoots you and you just die thin right out of the air, the reason for that is the sole and one reason. The same reason that lets you die, you know, when you're trying to run behind the wall, is the same reason why you kill everyone while you're running out of the wall. Is because here you are, you see yourself, and here's a visual, you see yourself in front of the open, you see everything. And by the way, let me just quickly say, this isn't like a couple of seconds. These are, you know, like a half a second, a quarter of a second. These are small increments amount of time, very small amount of time. But in a first person shooter where you die very quickly, those small, small few milliseconds mean the world. Those are insanely important. Those are incredibly valuable. So this is where you see yourself. Everyone else sees you here behind the wall. You weren't there yet, but you see yourself right here 
out in the open of the wall and you can see everything where the person is. So what happens is when you see him, you pull up your gun, you go to shoot him and you start putting rounds, but you're not there yet or everyone else doesn't see you yet. So when you zip there, he's still sitting there not moving anything so you get all your bullets to connect and he instant dies. And that's why you see like, what the hell? The guy ran in the corner and I just died straight out. That's why. is because they're ahead of you because they're moving. Whereas since you're not moving, you're stationary. You're like where everyone else is. You know what I'm saying? You're not changing up anything. He's ahead of you because he is moving. And that's why, you know, running around in these games, especially in Black Ops, is so preferred. And you really don't see that many more campers. And that and because, you know, all of the equipment and stuff that takes out all the camping equipment. But anyways, so yeah, that's why standing still gets you killed. That's why you see people jump corners, you know, do all that stuff, and then they kill you instantly. That's why. Because of the lag compensation. And now let me explain it. And, and by the way, really quick tip. If you're planning to camp, I don't recommend it in the sense of you're going to stand still. And this isn't like a video saying, oh, campers and all that stuff. I don't care what the hell you do. Do what you want to do. But if you are going to camp, this is a tip that I do. Whenever I'm trying to hold a position, I don't stand still. I try to move around. Like, for instance, I'll just show me. Here's a crate right here, and I'm right here. I don't just stand right here because it's the same thing. I'm right here. People see me here, and that's where everything else is. So what I do is I run a... I walk around like in a small circle. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like what I'm doing right now. I walk around in a small circle behind the box so that my hitbox and me are still changing. So that if someone runs a corner, we're somewhat on an even playing field. And that's why I do that. It's because while I'm moving, I'm not stationary. Well, kind of obvious, but you get what I'm saying. The hitbox is as different than what it was before. And that I might have a little second edge before the other guy. So tip, if you're planning, you know, head glitch or something like that, move around. A lot easier. Okay. So now let me explain the way connection works and you know why some people have better stuff and all that kind of stuff. Is I'll try to explain your levels. Oh, levels. Host is right here, okay? He has the best connection because it's just being sent out to everyone else. Let's just say he has like 100 ping. And the lowest end guy, let's say that he has 50 ping. Just random numbers. He has 50 ping. And then there's people in the middle who have like 75 ping, which is the preferred ping for the server because it's in the middle. And then there's this guy right underneath who has, you know, a little bit less ping. But... They're trying to make it an even playing field because all these guys would be dominating the guys underneath them because they have a higher ping, higher, you know, reaction because they see stuff before everyone else does. So what lag compensation does, it tries to smoosh everyone together to get everyone in somewhat of an even playing field. So they can't exactly bump this guy up. They can do some things to increase his connection, do some things. I'm not going to get into the technical stuff. But so they move him up a little bit. But what they really do to everyone else is to move them accordingly. So right here is the area that you want to be. If you have this connection, you're good. You're not moving anywhere. But these guys are moving down to over here. And these guys are moving up by, you know, cutting the connection speed. So if this guy's on a ping, now he has like, let's say 63. You know what I'm saying? They're cutting his ping. They're choking his connection so that he's closer to everyone else. So the guy right underneath where everyone else is being choked, trying to bring underneath in here and they're bumping everyone else, he gets bumped above everyone else. And that's why you see sometimes the host doesn't have the best connection, but there's another guy who isn't host that does. is because everyone else is being choked and brought down to these guys' this level. You get what I'm saying? They're trying to move everyone here to this level. But the guy right underneath here, right underneath the area where they're trying to make it, so let's say between, let's say, 65 and 70, that's where they're trying to get everyone. If you have that connection, you're not moving at all because everyone's trying to be smushed down into that connection. So the guy, let's say, that has 64, He's getting bumped up as if he's these guys down here or, you know, being choked. So he gets above everyone else. And that's why sometimes you see people who are not host have the best connection. is because he's the guy that's right underneath the bar to be brought up and to have the best ping. That's why you see that. That's why sometimes you see like, whoa, this guy, I cannot kill him. No one can kill him. A normal garbage guy will do good in a game because he has the highest ping in that server or whatever the hell you want to call it. Anyways, guys, so that's kind of everything in a nutshell. I hope I explained, you know, a lot of radio, give good enough visuals and all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know. I, I hope I did well. I hope I explained it. Let me know in the comments if I was an idiot or anything. Um, so, yeah, guys, we kind of reached the end of this video. So, like the video if you liked it or if you found it helpful. Subscribe to me if you want to see more of my videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about me. Uh, if you want to stay updated on everything I'm doing and all my videos, follow me on Twitter. It's at XXMonkeyDragon. A link to it will be in the description. Well, I'm Monkey Dragon. That's all I got, guys. Peace.